friends, welcome back to the Miniature Tiny Home Build. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these cute little retro stools for the retro kitchen that I'm working on. Um, first you're going to cut out some circles with some wood. You can use as many, uh, you can make as many circles as you want. I'm making four personally. So I traced out a circle with a stencil and now I'm just cutting them out with this uh, boss of wood, which is pretty easy to work with. When doing the circles I find it easier to just sort of cut out little pieces of it as opposed to trying to trace a, a circle because it's a circle and it's hard to make it symmetrical so I just ship it away piece by piece. It's kind of a lot of work and these are tiny stools but you can make them any size that you want as well. So now I'm going to sand it down um, so it looks nice and even like that. And the next step is making the stool arm, or the legs, arms, the stool arms, making the stool legs. So I, I sort of traced out how I wanted the wire to look and now I'm forming it with my fingers and with a little wire plier. Ha! <laughs> a wire plier. I love it. So I need to make 16 of these. So I have two there that I've made to show you. Now I'm, uh, tried to put holes where I wanted to drill um, into the wood to put the stool legs, not arms, into. So you do that to all of them and make sure that they fit correctly. You just sort of work it in there. Work it. Now I cut out the top of the stool from some cardboard, um, some circles, and then I took some cardstock, and that's going to go around the stool um, to make it look like metal. So it'll look like that. I finished one to show you. Um, so what I've done is put a little piece of cloth underneath the middle so that it gives this stool a little bit of like a raise, like it has cushion on it. Um, they're a little bit too small to put stuffing into, so that little piece of, of fabric will raise it a little to make it look like it's, like it's a plush and, and squishy, a squishy stool. So then I just glue it down like so and work it around. And then after I'm done with that, I, um start to put the legs on. Or I sand it down first. I lied. I sand it down. You can see all the legs to the right, all 16 of them. Also see to the left those little circles. You can buy those at Michael's. Um, or you can make them yourself. I did it wrapping wire around a pen to make perfect circles. Uh, now I'm going to glue the legs on. One at a time. It's very tedious but it's super fun. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh my god, it's so cute. Look at how cute it is. Little tiny stools. Just putting those legs on. It's hard making all of the wire like symmetrical. It's not easy. So there's that. And now, just finishing up the last of the four, putting those legs on. So now I'm going to take those circles that I was, oh no, I'm painting it, oh my gosh. I'm painting them. So You can paint the stools any color you want. I went with blue because my kitchen's red and white and I thought this nice little retro blue would go great with it. And then I'm taking those circles that I told you I wrapped around a pen. You can buy circles at Michael's, um, they have them there. And I just glued them on with some super glue. And I did two little notches, you can do as many as you like. Um, and now I'm taking that piece of cardstock that I cut out and wrapping it around the stool to sort of finish off the look of it being all one piece. And I decided I want to paint it silver. This is an alcohol-based silver paint. Um, looks really, really cool. And it dries really fast. That's the nice thing about it. So I just paint away like so. Paint, 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 paint. See how nice it looks? Yeah, it's just coming. Little stools are coming along. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. I paint the, the legs too because some of the metals don't quite match. And then the last step after that is making the little black. Oh no. I'm lying all day long. So I'm going to stick this little wire that I. The same concept, I just wrapped it around a pen and then um, 
cut it. I'm going to wrap it around the stool to make it have dimension on the side. You know, some of those stools have those little dimensional things on them. I don't know, I'm just copying a picture I saw. So now I'm dipping it, dipping the ends in black paint to make them look like little rubber stops that you'd find on the stool. And again, you can use any color that you want. I just chose black. Um, and there you go. That's it. Those are the finished stools with the retro sink and some of the retro furniture that I've made. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you like it. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I can't wait to show you what I will be making next week. Have a good day.